in honor of National Veterans and Military Families Month that begins in November, the Magic Kingdom is pleased to welcome the United States Air Force Thunderbirds. yourself to our audience. Yeah, Major Zane Strobe Taylor. I'm the slot pilot for the United States Air Force Thunderbirds. And this morning uh, you flew over Cinderella Castle. Um, what does it mean for you to be able to do that? Because you're from Orlando. It's awesome. Um, you know, just north of here is where I learned how to fly. And I used to fly over my parents' house in a little, tiny little uh, single engine airplane and my big mountain wave. And now today I flew over that exact same spot in an F-16 on the way to fly over Cinderella Castle. So. Pretty awesome. And you're a big Disney fan, is that right? Huge Disney fan. Um, all theme parks, especially Disney. Both my parents work for Disney, so I grew up coming to these parks. So it feels like home when I'm in the park because they used to drop me and my brother off and we would just play all day at Disney and then come home exhausted. So, so what kind of training does it take to do what, what you did today? Um, it takes a lot of training, um, about 10 years of being a pilot in the Air Force before you can even apply to be on the Thunderbirds. Um, and then I've been on the Thunderbirds for three years. Luckily I've gotten the chance to do some flyovers, but you know, flyovers are just kind of a, a secondary mission for us. Um, if you really want to see the crazy stuff, then you got to come to the air shows and watch the aerial demonstrations where we do loops and rolls and flips and all sorts of uh, stunts. And when did you know that you wanted to be part of the uh, Air Force Thunderbirds? Um, I saw the Thunderbirds when I was five years old here in Central Florida, and it just blew my mind. And I wanted to fly fighters ever since, um, but I didn't necessarily want to be a Thunderbird. It wasn't until I was a flight instructor and I was stationed in New Mexico that I was starting to think like, man, that'd be cool if I you know, kind of went back and applied for the Thunderbirds and got on and then gave the next generation kind of that same experience that I had had. And so um, you only have how many more? Four, four more? Four more shows. Four, four. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, and, and so what happens after that? What is your next? Um, like all Thunderbirds, I'll go back to the Combat Air Force and um, go where I'm needed. So. So uh, I did read you like roller coasters, but I've learned you've not done You've not been on Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind yet, so that's not something yet. you'll have. Not yet, and to... I'm very interested because if there's a roller coaster out there, I'm going to find it. So. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so thank you very thank much. Thank you very much. Awesome, thank you. Could you introduce yourself for us? Yes, ma'am. Uh, Lieutenant Colonel Justin Elliott. I go by Astro. I'm Thunderbird 1, or the Commander and Leader of the United States Air Force Thunderbirds. And we just saw you over uh, Cinderella Castle this morning. How often have you been able to go over uh, Disney with, with the planes? Oh, exactly one time. Just one time <laughs> for you. This is just one time for you. It's quite a rare honor uh, to be able to fly over Disney World, and the exposure that we get here uh, is second to none. It's international. It's enormous. And can you tell us the similarities between uh, the Thunderbirds and Disney? Sure. Uh, both share an enormous responsibility. You know, I'll start with the Thunderbirds. Um, 
The Thunderbirds have a responsibility of not just representing this brand, the Thunderbirds, but also this brand here, the United States of America. Um, that's why our jets are red, white, and blue. And our mission is to create a beacon of excellence in the name of service to something bigger than ourselves. Uh, Disney, very similarly, has an enormous responsibility to define the ideal uh, for our children, for our adults in the United States. Um, if we get that right, if both of these teams get that right, we unite in divided times, we inspire our youth to give to something bigger than themselves, um, and we draw the best people from around the world to American shores. It's an important mission. And when did you know you wanted to become an Air Force under uh, well, I'll start with, I, I knew I wanted to be an Air Force pilot when I was very, very young, uh, after seeing the Thunderbirds. Um, as far as being on the actual team, well, that's something you do much, much later in life. And so it really wasn't until last year uh, when I applied for the team that I, that I thought it was a goal I could actually achieve. Um, and I'm uh, very proud to have done so. And how much practice did it take for you to do something like the, what you did today? It, um, each job on this team, uh, on, on the flying side, takes about 120 flights in a row. Uh, that's twice a day, every day, through the weekends for four months to get to the point where you're able to do this much. Um, each member of the team is irreplaceable for that show season um, because it is very difficult, uh, but it is very, very rewarding. It's really, it was really amazing to see you guys this morning. So thank you very much. Well, you had mentioned oh. flying over Daytona Speedway, yes. and you all were telling me earlier there's quite the history. Maybe you could talk a little bit about it. Yes, that. there is. So uh, 1954 was our first experience with Daytona. We actually invented the sneak pass at that show to try to scare birds away before we performed over Daytona Beach. Um, you look back uh, through history and you can see that connection. Now, we've flown over Daytona Speedway for 13 years in a row in modern history. Um, and we intend to continue doing so. We'll only do usually three to four flyovers in a year because we are a demonstration team and our primary mission is to put on that 37 minute choreographed air show that no one else on the planet can do. Um, but for the flyovers, you know, we do the big ones. So Daytona, Indy, Super Bowl, and Disney World. Well, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank we you guys it. very much. It's honor to be here.